Hey guys, Akshay Hello here and in this video I will teach you how to read for maximum learning and learning how to learn is very important skill that is not taught in your schools. So if you're reading business or self-improvement books, this skill of meta learning or learning how to learn is very important. So let's get started. So many people say that they read um, 10 books a month or um, you know 100 books an year but the main question is how much do they actually remember how much do they actually internalize and apply in their business and personal life so it is the need of the hour to internalize the stuff that you read and apply it um, immediately if possible so with that being said so let's dive in all right so in this presentation, I'm going to cover um, five main things. One is the research, the scheme, the read, retention, and also mapping. So let's get into these one by one. Let's focus about research as of now. The previous book that you read should make a logical progression to the book that you're currently reading. So you need to do your prior research on sites like Goodreads, Quora, or even Amazon reviews. For example, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy, right? After reading that book, it's a basic book, right? It, uh, it uh, gives you several insightful ideas regarding how your mind works, uh, especially the subconscious mind. And after that, you can consider reading uh, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, right? So that's a logical progression. You know, like you should not pick up a random book and just start reading it. The book that you pick uh, should make sense uh, for logical progression and should uh, help you uh, eventually to achieve your goal step by step right so and also uh, you need to watch some youtube videos of the author before reading a book it amplifies your interest in the book massively uh, for example when i um, plan to read any book i just go to youtube and search for the author name there may be ted talks or there may be um, videos from london real or some other videos will be there right so i will watch those uh, videos because getting to know about the author you know um, in a personal way or like you know uh, through a video it amplifies your interest in the book massively right you need to prime your mind to expect something awesome before reading your book that's very important and uh, uh, watching a video of the author prior reading your book also helps you uh, to set the right expectations um, from the book and also it helps you easily understand the context in which uh, the uh, the author has narrated his uh, uh, information or knowledge. So these are all the things that you need to do before even picking your book. The first you need to pick a book that uh, helps you achieve your goal and you need to watch some YouTube videos or and amplify your interest in the book massively, right? You can read about that uh, author or watch some videos. Okay, the next thing is skimming. So after researching which book to read, the next thing that you need to do is skimming, right? So in the skimming phase, what you will do is um, you will just go through the book uh, as if you are uh, scanning, right? Uh, just to make the connections and just to analyze the topics covered in the book. So you can start skimming with table of contents. Right? So just go to the table of content uh, section of your book and see how the topics are uh, progressed in the book, right? how they are interconnected based on your um, uh, previous knowledge in the topic, right? in some cases. Right? Look for logical progression of ideas in the book. And especially you can also look at introduction or um, the author may have included uh, how to read this book, a section called how to read this book. Just read that introduction, those um, initial, um, initial sections of the book to get to know uh, in what context the book is or get to know if the book is right for you or not at your stage of um, your business or uh, personal uh, development journey, right? You see, you need to skim the entire book, right? Just skim it. Like uh, if a book is of 200 pages, it will hardly take you around, you know, like 15 to 
uh, 30 minutes to just skim the book and just to get to know uh, what are all the things, what are all the arguments that the author is making, right? In this uh, stage, no need of highlighters, no, no need of taking notes, you're just skimming the book, right? To get to know whether the book is right for you or not at this moment in your life. So after the skimming process is done, the next thing that you need is um, you need to uh, read the book, right? You need to obviously read the book. You, you just can't skim the book and, uh, you know, um, expect that everything will be internalized. You need to read your book. So reading, you need to consume the information in a smart way. We are living in an information overloaded world, right? So you need to make sure that you consume information in the book in a smart way that will not overwhelm you or that will not uh, mess up with, with your mind. So the first thing is you need to consume smart and read the things that match your goal. So if you have done your skimming process thoroughly, then this process is really easy. Right. So if you have skimmed your book and realized that it is the right time for you to read the book to match your goals, then you need to consume smart and you need to consume the information that is present in the book as it relates to your goals, business or personal goals. And you need to engage in active learning. There are two kinds of learnings, active learning and passive learning. You need to engage in active learning. For example, if there are any books where there are projects, worksheets, you know, uh, some exercises, do them, right? Don't, you know, have that um, um, conditioning in your head like projects are only meant for universities and those suck, right? You know what I'm saying, right? So, and you need to do the practicals on what you read. So there may be some action steps that the author has mentioned in his book, if the book is actionable, or else you need to jot down some things in the middle uh, about what are all the things that you need to implement out of the concepts that you have learned, right? So if you engage in this kind of active learning, it helps in memory and concentration, right? And the next thing is you need to build a mind map right i will discuss is it uh, later on right um the mind map is simply you know like uh, this video presentation is a mind map based right as you can see it helps me um obtain a macro view of my entire presentation here right i can see all the things here so it helps you connect ideas with new ideas you are in your mental schema right i will describe about this later on in the mind mapping section here uh in the mapping section so, and building a mind map increases memorability because mem mind mapping is a process that is very intimate to the brain because um, mapping is the main way by which uh, brain associates uh, similar ideas together, right? And um, you need to keep an artifact, right? Other than highlighting your book. Of course, you need to highlight your book, but still you need to keep an artifact. Right? You need to learn the difference between active and passive memory and um, in your artifact, whether the, the notes or the mind maps, you need to um, have actionable things written in your mind map or your notes. Right. And keeping an artifact like a um, diary or a notes or um, or your Evernote or, you know, or a mind map, it makes your passive knowledge active in your brain. That's very important for memorability that I will discuss later on. And the next thing is you need to refer back to the uh, book uh, periodically. One concept here, here is uh, uh, the repetition is very essential to move the memory from short term to long term memory. If a certain thing is repeated over and over again, brain will deem it as more important and it will move it to the long term memory. And also, uh, repetition helps you to connect uh, the new ideas to the uh, ideas that you already have, right? When you, you know, combine the ideas of different uh, mental models or different uh, fields of studies, that's where innovation happens, right? So you need to have that ability to connect the ideas of different um, paradigms or different domains and uh, connected to things that you're doing. That's very important in accomplishing your goals.
right? What can I implement? How it connects, how the content of the book connects to what I'm already doing and how can I improve on it, right? So don't make fragmental or uh, incremental understanding. So see, whenever you're reading the book, you're all reading it sequentially, right? Uh, unless you create mind map, the information uh, that you uh, read will you will interpret it in a fragmented way or incremental understanding. So you need to have a macro level understanding of the book and how the contents in the book connect with each other. It primes your brain to obtain the incremental understanding in a more uh, connected or in a more contextual and um, um, you know related manner right in a form of mind map all right the next thing is retention right people have this thing right they read certain many books and the main problem for them is not remembering the things so here are some of the things that i can give you right connect your reading to an action that's what i um, suggested you previously right so when you uh, connect your reading to your goal so that it's immediately actionable then it retains in your memory because it's actionable it's it retains in your active memory so it helps you link to your existing experiences right so connect to existing ideas so whenever you're reading any book um, uh, you surely have come across uh, many ideas that you already know right and also you obtain many new ideas so now you need to make a connection between the new ideas that you learned to your previous ideas. So connect to existing ideas. Connection makes new knowledge more memorable. For this, you need to understand how human brain works. In human brain, the information, all the uh, things that we have exposed to will be uh, shared in the associative memory. It will be stored in the associative memory, right? The related uh, categories, related experiences are all stored in the form of a schema that are linked together in the form of a mind map, right? So when you make new connections or when you insert new ideas or new nodes into your mental schema, um, they will be closely associated with your other existing ideas. So they will be recalled more and more uh, whenever your associative uh, memory is activated, uh, whenever any external uh, rela related uh, uh, stimuli occurs. So, so that like whenever you connect the new ideas to your existing ideas, uh, the repetition will happen uh, automatically because whenever your existing ideas get activated the new ideas that are closely associated your, to your existing ideas in the uh, mental schema will be activated and it leads to automated repetition um, provided that you provide your brain uh, related stimulus and repetition right the one technique in repetition is spaced repetition spaced repetition uh, I will describe this in this uh, second uh, topic here. So the more often you activate your memory nodes, the more easier is it to recall. As I told you, the brain stores the information in the form of mental schema that, uh, you know, in the associative memory, wherein every uh, pieces of information or every piece of idea that you have ever encountered with, or linked within each other um, in a contextual or relevant way. Right. So um, if an idea is connected more often to many ideas, it will be very helpful for you to uh, recall. And if an idea is uh, repeated more often, then new mental memory nodes are created. Thus, it helps you in remembering stuff. And spaced repetition is uh, a game changer. Right. So if you have read a book today, uh, if you have completed reading it, then revise it after a week. And then again revise it after a month and then revise it after an year right slowly add more and more time between repetitions repetitions is very important and repetition is perhaps only the preferred way for internalizing the information uh, deep down to your uh, neural pathways so the next one is mapping right this is my favorite strategy right people um they take the summary of the books that they read in the form of outlines, some do it in a diary. Although it works, mind mapping, um, it's a whole different uh, thing, right? It's, it's amazing. Let me describe you 
here all right treat this as a separate mind map right this is a separate mind map this is the parent node and these are all the child nodes right so whenever you are creating a mind map for a book here right you need to have several children like background of the book author's goal with the book my goals application summary what i need to investigate further and connection to my other ideas so let's discuss one by one the background of the book this section helps you set the right context for uh, the book related mind map that you have are creating right so you need to include author background some motivational things about the author and also the thesis of the book it helps you set the right expectations whenever you are uh, again and again going through your mind map in this section you need to include the information that primes your mind to um, easily understand the subsequent information that you have presented in your mind map and the second one is author's goal with the book what goals or what objectives that the author held in their uh, mind when uh, when writing this book that's very important because you see a book will be more connectable to you and it will gain rapport with you only if your goals aligns with the author's goal right so before reading a book you need to set the specific objectives that you are willing to uh, fulfill from this book why this book interests you start with why right why i need to read this book why this interests you right why you initially picked up this book state the statement in your mind map and it helps you a lot whenever you are analyzing the things in a macro view mm -hmm. and why you want to read this book right and what questions you are willing to answer while reading so again the intent is really important right you should have clear intent or the objectives that you are going to accomplish by reading a book even be before picking up a book you should not be like going to a library and just deciding there what topic to read or, or picking up a book and just reading because the author has written <laughs> and also the applications right you need to make a list of applications or uh, uh, action steps that you need to do after re reading the book right what are all the action steps for me from this book or what can i do in what way i can uh, transform myself uh, to accomplish the action steps uh, that are described in the book right so these are all the things that you need to include in your mind map the, your mind map should both be informational and also actionable that's the key for mind mapping because mind maps are directly received uh, by the brain right without any friction because this is the way this schema type is the way by which your brain operates so our brain intimately connects with the mind map and it helps you to easily understand the relation between uh, different stuff here and mind mapping is really important and after that summary section right so in the summary section uh, you need to take the ideas from the book and restate in your own words or else if there are any quotations quotes or any laws you can uh, just state the actual statements right in the summary you can add in the uh, topics that are covered in the book like uh, topic 1 topic 2 right and topic 3 right the the names of the topics and under those topics you can include um the you know important points that the author has covered so another thing here is uh, you need to follow uh, 80 20 rule here right your mind map need not be very descriptive it should only cover 20% of the most important things that you need to implement and that matters the most for your current situation right only the top 20% knowledge should be here guys right or else you will end up making your uh, mind map more bulky you resist to go through it right overwhelmed by the size of the mind map so again uh, implement 80 20 rule in every aspect of your life so now in this section uh, you can include what i need to investigate further there may be some other books or concepts that the author may have recommended in the book for you to investigate further or there may be other ideas that um, the author has presented in uh, his book and you feel the need of uh, you know exploring that those topics a little bit further right so those ideas you need to include it in this section of your mind map and it's very important 
so and also the next thing is connection to my other ideas i told you right for memorability and uh, internalization of the ideas you need to connect the new ideas that you obtain from the book with your old existing ideas so connect connection to your other ideas are uh, very important right in this section uh, you need to um, list down other concepts that are related to the book that you already know or other books that you have already read related to this book and what are all the key concepts that are covered in that book as it relates to the uh, present book right so these are all the things that you need to cover uh, that you need to keep in mind before reading a book the first one is research the second one is skimming the research helps you to pick the right book for re reading and it also helps you to amplify your interest in the book massively right and skimming it helps you prime your mind for asking the right questions when reading your book and it also helps you determine whether uh, the book is really uh, uh, worth and read right so and uh, in the reading section you need to consume smart engage in active learning build a mind map right and keep an artifact maybe in the form of mind map or a journal and you need to refer back again and again to remember or the repetition part and don't make fragmented or incremental understanding um, try to have an entire idea uh, the you know the macro idea the author is trying to convey and in the retention phase you need to connect your reading to an action right whenever you connect the ideas that you get through the book to your real life then the mind it will trick your mind to uh, treat the ideas as more important because it relates to your life right and you need to connect your existing ideas so that uh, the connected mental nodes will be activated whenever any relevant stimuli occurs more and more often thus it helps in retention and you need to also repeat the stuff that you uh, have taken notes of and also the highlights you need to reread the highlights and also go through the mind map again and again and space repetition with the decreasing order of uh, uh, repetitions right so and also in the mapping mind mapping section i have covered um you need to include the background of the book, author's goal with the book, your goals, right, and how it aligns with the author's goals, and uh, the applications of the book, the summary of the book, following the 80-20 rule, you need to only uh, include the top 20% of the ideas in the mind map, not the entire book, and you need to also have some things for you to investigate further after reading the book and you need to connect with your other ideas and list down how you connected each of them right you can make use of uh, uh, the connection function in many mind mapping tools and just drag this to create a connection between any two topics here like this hope you love this uh, video guys if you have liked this video just hit that like button and subscribe for this channel for more videos stay tuned